Hi everyone. Hope you all fine. I am also fine here. Okay, today we will see five more current affairs which will be easy for you to revise and recollect during this pandemic time. So the first one is GI tag, a geographical indication tag. It is covered under the Paris Convention for the protection of industry property. Uh, it gives an indication to the product which is uh, which is having a unique geographical origin or an innovative creation. So it is a tra it is a part of TRIPS agreement that is trade related aspects of intellectual property rights agreement. India is a member of World Trade Organization because under GATT negotiations only GI tag comes. India enacted a geographical indication, indications of goods, Registration and Protection Act 1999, which came into force on 2003. In 2003, this uh, TRIPS agreement is a part of Uruguay agreement on GATT negotiations. So, this time, every year there will be GI tagged products. They may ask you in the form of incorrectly matched or uh, the speciality of that product okay so this time uh, during august month the four products have been given gi so the first one is the talopon which is a product from mizoram it is nothing but a good quality fabric from medium thickness to heavy so it is what is its speciality means uh, the designs will be made by hand itself and uh, what is uh, the meaning of talopon in mizo language means to stand firm or not to move backward it is produced throughout the state of Mizoram, which are the main centers of production means Aiswal, the capital of Mizoram and Tenzal town. Okay. Another one product from Mizoram itself, Mizo Pionchai. It is a colorful Mizo shawl or textile because it is an essential possession for every Mizo lady. It is also considered as an important marriage outfit in Mizoram. And also we know Mizoram is popularly known as a bamboo state. Okay. So just an additional information. So next one, Thirur beetle leaf, which is from Kerala. So it is mainly cultivated in these panchayat blocks like uh, Thirur, Thanur, Thiruranggadi, Kuttipuram, Malapuram and Vengara block mainly. That is, uh, these are all block panchayats of Malapuram district. They are cultivated mainly there. And they are valued for the sti mild stimulant action and medicinal properties is also there because it is a good remedy for bad breath and digestive disorders. And they are also used for pan masala for chewing. And it has many medicinal, industrial and cultural usages. Uh, that's all about the Roar Beetle Leaf. So next one. So next one is Parani Panjamardam. It is for the first time from Tamil Nadu. Uh, Prasadam has been given GI tag. It has been bestowed with the GI tag. And Abhisheka Prasadam from Palani town which is located in Dindical town of Tamil Nadu. Already in Dindical locks is famous. That is also a GI tagged product. So it is mainly... Offered in the Abhishekam of Lord Dandayudabani Swami in Arulmigu, uh, Dandayudabani Swami temple, that nothing but Lord Murgan. So, what is its speciality means? There is no addition of any preservatives or additional artificial ingredients. Just five natural ingredients have been used for making this Palani Panchamardam. So, next one, National Electric Mobility Mission Plan. NEMMP 2020 it comes under because electric mobility mission plan so it comes under ministry of heavy industries and public enterprises always uh, make note of uh, the ministries uh, they may be asking in exams so it is a vision and roadmap for the faster adoption of electric vehicles so the scope of national electric mobility mission plan is to enhance national fuel security and for a sustainable growth because to curb air pollution is the main motive and we can achieve our INDC, Intended national de Nationally Determined Contribution Goals of reducing 33 to 35% of greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. So, fame, faster adoption, manufacturing of hybrid or electric vehicles. So, there are two periods for implementing this fame scheme. So, the phase one started from April 1st, 2015 to 31st March 2019 during this fiscal years. So, what is the scope of this fame means? It includes demand creation, creating demand among the people for looking forward electric vehicles and technology platform because we are producing hybrid vehicles which can run both on, on electricity and liquid fuels. It is a pilot project because we are doing it in a trial and the charging infrastructure should be constructed for as it is a hybrid electric vehicle. So, the phase 2 of the fame scheme will be has been implemented from 1st April 2019. Because the aim of this uh, fame scheme is to achieve the ambitious target of 6 to 7 million sales of hybrid and electric vehicles by 2020. That's all. So the next one. 
Excise comes in, it comes under Ministry of Defence. Usually military excise comes under uh, Ministry of Defence only. So it is an annual military excise which is between India and Kazakhstan. It is held alternatively in India and Kazakhstan. So the fourth edition has been recently held at Pitorogar in Uttarakhand. It is just a company level excise. That is five to six platoons will be there. So the motive of excise Kazan is to counter insurgency and counter terrorism operations in both jungle and mountainous terrain. That's why Uttarakhand has been taken chosen this time. Also, uh, it is one of the long-standing strategic cooperation between India and Kazakhstan. Also, we know Kazakhstan is one of the country bordering Caspian Sea. As we already know, Caspian Sea is bordered by Karthi countries. So, that's all about uh, excise cars. And so, next one. So, FOSTAC comes under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. It is a flagship initiative of Ministry of Road Transport and Highways with the help of National Highways Authority of India. It is implemented on pan-India basis to enhance transparency in toll plaza payments. So, they have created fast tag lanes so objective of fast tag is nothing to, to remove the bottlenecks ensure the seamless moment of traffic because it is a hectic problem so collection of user fee as per the notified race with the transparency so they are using a technology so make note of the technology they may ask in statement radio free identification technology so what is the scope of uh, fast tag means to enhance the digital payments that is 100 percent digital toll payments to ensure transparency also, um, during October month, One Nation, One Tag national campaign has been conducted by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and National Highways Authority of India. So, the users can easily recharge their fast tag using My Fast Tag app, which is developed by UPI Recharge Facility. Also, a vehicle user without fast tag facility who are entering the fast tag lane has to pay double the notified rates. So thank you for watching, subscribe to App IAS channel, till then stay positive, stay healthy and keep smiling, be happy. Thank you.